of grab it here. We'll have a look at some light emitting diodes. So let's get in. So anyway, here we have some typical LEDs. And they usually come in um, 5mm size or a 3mm size. And um, you have many, uh, many different colors to choose from. There's red. Like a yellow. And then just take the green one here as an example. And then the red one. Now each of the individual um, uh, LEDs should be have its own current limiting resistor, so you shouldn't connect a, a LED directly to, for example, plus 5 volts or 3.3 volts, because then you get too much current going through it and it breaks down. Well, anyway, here's, um, here's what the legs look like on, on one of these, and the longer leg is the positive side. And the, shorter one is the negative side. Now what there is a little bit of it if you want to fine-tune the brightness of, of the um, LEDs then um, I've used the, for, I've, I have used the same um, resistor size 470 ohms for every color but basically I mean if you look at the spec sheets then each color takes a little bit different current and also you have the interesting things, you can have completely transparent um, LEDs, but they're basically colored. <laughs> so the, the, the color, it is the color of the actual LED um, semiconductor that's the key, not necessarily the, the coloring of the plastic that's used to encapsulate. Oh, you can buy um, LEDs in boxes. Like this, you know, with the different colors. Sadly, my box got a bit wrecked in transport. It's life. Or, uh, you can buy them as individual bags of, you know, either 3mm or 5mm in, in, in different amounts. They usually, you know, you can, you know, 20, 25, 50, you, know, you can find different, they've rationed them out into different packages. And um, maybe a bit off-topic for breadboard usage, um, you can also um, buy mounting hardware of different kinds. So for example, here's a mounting solution where you can put it through a panel. And you have a nut to um, put it on the panel, screw it onto the panel with, and then you mount the lead, you push the legs through the plastic holder here and then you just take it and then you insert it into the holder and push it into the place so then you can solder the wires and put it in place. Well, I also have a little bit of uh, variation in different form factors like here's a kind of a dot matrix style of lead so each individual lead is put into a small dot and then it has a certain cross connection and I'll put the the types of these in in the description it's very easy to find you can just search the internet you can find the actual connection diagram and um, you can um, individually um, light up um, different um, dots depending on uh, where you have um, the wire connected so go to the other ones. the sequence isn't as logical as one would think, so look at the connection diagram and then you'll, and you'll see where how, how you're supposed to control it. And then another solution is this kind of bar bar connection so that you can actually um, eliminate um, independent bars well, either with a control circuit or direct wiring. Well, anyway, here we have a few examples of um, RGB LEDs. So that means a LED that contains um, three colors. So for example, I can um, activate red or 
green or blue. But also the interesting thing is you can activate two colors at the same time. So then you actually can vary the actual color. So you get quite a lot of color combinations when you, when you do that. And the, you have a, like different sizes, so that's a bit bigger, and then you have a smaller size. And then the other category of um, uh, color LEDs is uh, they call them uh, neo pixels, and they can act, they come in all kinds of form factors, you know, with the resistor built into the package, without the resistor, as standalone chi chips with controllers embedded as strips. So there's like an endless uh, endless different configurations for that. But the 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 common denominating factor is that they are. Um, They're actually relatively bright compared to um, normal LEDs. But it's also the same rule that you can blend the colors to get different color effects. And the irritating thing with these modules is that, um, <laughs> which I actually succeeded in doing, I burned out the red color because the, the, this module, this this module here, which looks very much like another circuit board based module doesn't actually have the um, current limiting resistors installed on it so, so I ended up blowing up the um, red color. So anyway, last category of LEDs is how they're used in, to build different types of displays and these are, are small enough to actually put on the breadboard directly. So I have one that's actually quite a lot larger. So, um, but it, um, it actually sadly it won't fit on a breadboard. <laughs> the pin-out distance is, is just um, it, it's far enough apart that uh, it doesn't fit. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So this one has um, common cathode, and then you can actually s switch on individual um, segments. Blocking with my hand. So you have ground, and then you put positive voltage into different to get light up different parts. And then you have a different another concept, which is um, multiplexed. So you have four different four of these embedded in there, and then you activate which of these numbers do you want to actually. Um, uh, activate. So for example in this case it's this one. But you can also activate another display. And then you actually get another segment to light up. So the, uh, that's why they call it multiplex. And so if you want to update this display then you have to actually do it very fast. And then you have to put, uh, like, light up the segments you want to display here, and then activate this segment, and and then switch to the next one. If you do it like 50 times a second or something, then, uh, then it, um, uh, you, the human eye won't see it, and it'll be good enough to display. But these are uh, then you need control circuitry to be able to do that that active. So these are actually easier because the they're like passive, so you just control them directly. You have full control over the segments on an individual display base. So, I hope you found that informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Um, hit the like button if you thought it was worth it. Um, merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, uh, links are in the description. And um, I'll see you in the next one.